In a crazy turn of events, Paul George has been traded to the Oklahoma City Thunder. The Indiana Pacers agreed to trade four-time All-Star Paul George to the Thunder, which is absolutely crazy. And as part of the deal, the Pacers acquire Victor Oladipo and Sabonis. Now, the reason I find that crazy is because we heard a lot of trade rumors about Kevin Love for Paul George and... The Celtics may be trading away a couple of first round picks for Paul George, but in the end they settled on a trade getting Victor Oladipo and Sabonis. They didn't even get a first round pick, any pick of that, which is absolutely crazy in my opinion. Now Paul George is 27 years old, he's only got a one year contract with well, whichever team he got traded to at this point, which is why there was a lot of speculation about if the Celtics should go after him, if Cleveland should go after him, if Houston should go after him, because he's only on that one-year contract, right? Which means he's already stated that he wants to play in, like, with the Los Angeles Lakers after this year, going into free agency next year. But this year, he's committed to playing with the Oklahoma City Thunder. He just got traded there, and, I mean, how crazy is that? Now, like I said... He prefers to join the Los Angeles Lakers since George is from Southern California and he wants to play in LA going to next season. But this season, well this upcoming season, we get to see Russell Westbrook and Paul George. Now, a couple of years ago, if you guys remember, which I'm pretty I'm pretty sure you all do, the Oklahoma City Thunder, they were up three games to one against the Golden State Warriors. Now I know their teams have changed. Obviously Kevin Durant has not been a part of the Thunder anymore. He's gone off to Golden State after they had a 3-1 lead, I think we all remember that, but it's pretty crazy since now we've got Westbrook, Paul George, and they've still got a very similar team. Now, they don't have Ibaka, but they can sign someone in free agency, and they've still got Steven Adams, and I mean, they've got Ennis Kanter, who can do some little things here and there, but hopefully, if the Oklahoma City Thunder can somehow clear a little bit more cap space, they can get another, just, I guess, bench plays for their team. They need another shooting guard, because I don't think that I, I think they just need another shooting guard, but I don't know, man. It's really, really interesting. And I don't know what the Indiana Pacers see in Sabonis and what they see in Victor Oladipo when they had chances to get Kevin Love and players like that, which is crazy. Now, George had been linked to several teams since, I mean, since he requested that he wanted to leave Indiana, including Cleveland, Boston, and the Houston Rockets. But the Thunder somehow win out on the Paul George sweepstakes, which is a move that... No one, I think, really, really thought that it would happen. I mean, yeah, there was a lot of rumors, but speculation, and it wasn't really clear who the Thunder were looking for, but to land Paul George, that is an awesome move by the Oklahoma City Thunder, and a move that I guess no one really thought that the reigning NBA MVP Russell Westbrook could get another superstar on his team, and I think Russell Westbrook right now would be really, really happy and I guess it just brings another star player from the Eastern Conference to the West. In the West, you've got Russell Westbrook, Stephen Curry, Kevin Durant, Clay Thompson, Draymond Green, Paul George, Blake Griffin, CP3, James Harden, Kawhi Leonard, Anthony Davis, Demarcus Cousins, DeAndre Jordan, Rudy Gobert, Gasol, Damian Lillard, CJ McCollum, Kyle Anthony Towns, Wiggins, Butler, Jokic. In the East, you've got LeBron James, Kyrie Irving, Kevin Love. That's pretty much it. <laughs> like, it's really, really crazy. In the East... It just continues to get worse. We've seen Jimmy Butler from the East going to the West. We've seen Paul George from the East going to the West. We've seen, like, so many guys. Even, we might even see Kyle Lowry go from the East to the West in free agency. I mean, this is absolutely insane. And I can't believe it. Like, I honestly can't believe it. The East is seriously bad, which is why I think... Gordon Haywood will actually go to either the Boston Celtics and a lot of rumors about the Miami Heat. I'm, I'm a Heat fan, so I'm just saying we can somehow pair up Gordon Haywood with Hassan Whiteside, Goran Dragic, Justice Winslow. Ah, I'll be happy about that. But I think the Celtics are probably front runners to land Gordon Haywood. And Gordon Haywood, right now, he's in the West. The West is so stacked that I can definitely see him moving over to the Eastern Conference. But, I mean, how crazy is it? How crazy is the fact that Paul George is playing with Russell Westbrook? Paul George now has another star player to play with. And I think that is just absolutely insane. I think it's going to be so exciting to watch Russell Westbrook and Paul George. And the Thunder were last in the NBA in three-point field goal percentage last season at 32.7. George shot 39.3% in 2016-17, which would have ranked first in OKC with a minimum of five attempts. So that is pretty crazy. And I mean, I, I mean, I'm honestly speechless. I think this deal 
is a win in OKC, and I think it's terrible for Indiana. They had a chance to get other pieces. From Boston, they could have had future first round picks. From Cleveland, Kevin Love. Kevin Love, I know he hasn't performed in Cleveland, but when he was in Minnesota, that guy was a crazy player, crazy good player. And I think if you pair up Miles Turner and Kevin Love, and that's all you have, Kevin Love can turn into his old self. So I really don't know what Indiana was thinking. Now, in terms of the entire NBA, what this trade does is shake up the landscape of the entire free agency picture. Boston wanted to trade for Paul George if they signed Gordon Hayward so they can have two star players on their team going into next season, while Cleveland still thought they might have a chance at him through a third team like the Denver Nuggets. The Wizards had been rumoured to go after Paul George as well and possibly tangle a young piece like Odo Porter who might be alright for the Indiana Pacers. And while Houston probably had the least to offer, they wanted him as well since they got CP3 and they could have paired up CP3, James Harden, and Paul George, which would have been absolutely crazy. And now, instead, it's the Oklahoma City Thunder. The OKC Thunder. Hours before free agency officially begun, they have Paul George on a one-year deal to pair with the MVP, Russell Westbrook, who, for Russell Westbrook, who only has one year left on his contract as well, it's a gamble for the Thunder, but I think the, I think the general manager, Sam Presti, and his front office, they, they're doing what they need to do. If they lose Westbrook, at least they go down with Paul George and Russell Westbrook, and at least they're doing something, because what OKC wouldn't have wanted is just to lose something. I mean, yeah, they could have lost Westbrook going to next season, but who knows? What if, what if Westbrook and what if Paul George click, and they start playing really well? Like, imagine if these two guys were somehow in the East. They would have a strong chance to make it to the East, Eastern Conference Finals, but obviously the West is too stacked and uh, yeah, it's never going to happen. But what the Thunder are getting is a star, a two-way player who can lock down the best perimeter player while also playing offensively as one of the best small forwards in the game. After a season and a playoff series where the Thunder relied single-handedly on Russell Westbrook, Paul George, can I mean, he provides something that they haven't had this season. Victor Oladipo was pretty unreliable and pretty inconsistent, whereas Paul George, well, he is reliable, he is consistent, and he's an awesome second or first option. Now, last season, Paul George actually averaged a career high. Now, to think that Paul George could come back off such a horrible injury from a couple of years ago just shows you that this guy is insane. And last season, well, he had his best career high. 23.7 points per game on 46% shooting with 6.6 .6 rebounds and 3.3 assists per game. And that was arguably, for many people, a down year for Paul George, especially on the defensive end. But Paul George, well, he can do that in OKC this season and possibly even more. Now, about Paul George's free agency, that's the biggest question, obviously, because Paul George, 2018 free agent, he obviously says he would prefer to sign with the Los Angeles Lakers, but... You never know in the NBA. It could be so insane, he could change his mind, and the Lakers end up getting no one. The, the, the OKC Thunder end up pairing Paul George and Russell Westbrook, sign both of them on contracts for the future. You never know in the NBA. See, what if the Lakers start playing really, really, really bad this year? How about that? What if that happened? Well, Paul George might think, actually, I don't want to play on a terrible team. I want to compete for a championship. You never know. I'm serious. You never know. Obviously, at this point, yeah, Paul George wants to play for the Lakers. He wants to play under Magic Johnson. But at this point, in the NBA, God knows what the hell is going on. I mean, who really thought that Paul George would be part of the OKC? Now, we have talked about Indiana, and I thought they didn't really get as much as I thought they could have got for Paul George. But let's talk about the Oklahoma City Thunder. Because what problems does Paul George solve? I think George immediately solves so much in OKC. I mean, last year, they lost Kevin Durant. I think this is a very, very good replacement for Kevin Durant. Obviously, you can't place... I don't think you can replace KD. But in saying that, you get a star player like Paul George, I think that's insane. Now, the Thunder didn't have a reliable shooting around Russell Westbrook this season. So, Paul George, I mean, he shot 42% on more than four catch-and-shoot three-pointers per game. The Thunder players who could shoot were terrible defenders, and now Paul George, well, he's a two-way player. He can average 36 minutes a game, and the Thunder didn't have anyone who could take the offensive load off Russell Westbrook. Now, they do. Paul George can create his own shot on three different levels. I mean, he can create his own shot shooting, mid-range, shooting from three, going inside, 
And I mean, that you literally get a very good player in Paul George. Now, the Thunder did lose Oladipo, but obviously, George is just a massively improved version of Oladipo. And while Sabonis is a nice prospect for the future, I think OKC will be fine without him. So, George is absolutely worth the price in OKC. They're both on a one year rental, pretty much. OKC only has. Uh, Russell Westbrook and, and Paul George for one year. So let's just make this year a real crazy year for OKC. And how excited are you to see this two-man team go at it? Paul George, Russell Westbrook in OKC. What do you guys think? Subscribe if you're new for NBA videos every two, three, or every day. If I can do it every day, I will. But every two or three days, NBA videos up on this channel. If you guys enjoyed this video and you didn't know about the Paul George trade, let's drop a like. Let's aim for 3,000 likes. And I'll catch you guys in my next video talking about Derrick Rose to the San Antonio Spurs. He hasn't, he hasn't, you know, been there yet, but I think it could happen. I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace.